What's up guys, Kevin here and welcome back to another video and today um, we're going to watch NYCFC versus Atlas, Atlas FC in the League's Cup. Of course, it's a new competition. Uh, of course, the goal, my goal of this channel is to watch as many, record as many games and leagues and cups I could possibly, you know, imagine. I've already been to three. I've rec uh, this is the second one I'm recording. The next one's going to last over. It'll, it'll be soon, but so yeah, this is the first time you're wearing a shirt. I like the shirt. Like, I've never really worn it, but... Might as well wrap, right? So I'll see you guys. are losing. I didn't see the goal because like it was taking forever to get people in. And um, yeah man. So at this point, obviously, um, I actually checked the play just now, and um, it was kind of on. It was it's a it's it was a tough decision, but it was not offside. My personal opinion it was not offside. It went off the defender, and here I am, of course. But uh, to me, it wasn't offside. Um, the entire stadium was just quiet, bro. It was quiet. But sadly, you know. It did end up being offside, which in my opinion was a wrong call, but it is what it is. I don't really remember what I said here, but I think it said, I said the NYCFC was looking poor. And then, boom, they had a chance right after, but they did not equalize. Before the video ends, and thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. Um, NYCFC, they were poor for the first half. The second half, they were dominating possession. They just having, they just barely created the chances. Um, I checked the goal. It was it was offside. No, it was not offside. It was not offside. It was, I think it came off the, the defender's head. 
and then Hack just had it there. Of course, it was really tough to call. I, I feel like the ref should have went to VAR for him to see it himself. Um, but they were poor. For the majority, NYCFC were poor. Um, they had moments of, that could have been special. I feel like, obviously, they need the coach out, bro. They've been trying to get the coach out forever. That's hand sanitizer. I was, yeah, bro. Um, yeah, I'm still opening those packs. But seriously, like, the coach needs to be out. Um, the striker, he came in. He had one chance. He looked bright, actually. But um, they need a left-footed player. They need another left-footed player. I've noticed there's just full of righties. And, you know, they can't switch the plate as easy. But um, also, I mean, that's, that's kind of it. Like, a new I feel like a new coach at this part of the season would make them fresh. Because they're, like, really way off playoffs. I think they only have a few more points than um, than Inter Miami. And of course, Inter Miami have all the reinforcements now. Um, but NYCFD don't. They have the striker. Maybe the striker can be the next Tati. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, let's. So, that's what happened. You guys can hear what's happening. Uh, honestly, man, it was poor. Poor from NYCFC, but it was super poor. City so feels like this is a baseball stadium. It's a nice stadium, like don't get me wrong. But yeah, man, that's how it, that's how she wrote. So um, I don't think I'm gonna go meet the players at all, but you know, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.